Alright guys, so it's about 10.15 in the morning and uh, FedEx just dropped off the uh, package from Blue Zoo Aquatics. It was sent via FedEx Express. So what that means is, is that delivery is guaranteed by 10.30 a.m. the very next day. So we're right on track. So let's go ahead and get this guy inside and we'll open it up. Okay, so I just unboxed the package from Blue Zoo. I figured you guys didn't really want to see me pulling out bags. Um, I have the lid on still for a reason because unfortunately one of the fish um, isn't doing so well. Uh, he's on his side in his bag um, gasping quite rapidly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box downstairs and I'm going to acclimate him to the display tank water. Um, and we're going to just keep him in his box where it's dark and we'll do a really slow drip acclimation there so we'll see what happens with that guy um, so I ordered um, five lyre tail antheuses so four of them are looking okay right now and then obviously the fifth not so great at the moment um, I ordered a couple corals one was a green goniopora that's looking good um, and then a uh, brown monty cap that one unfortunately the Monty Cap didn't make the order and there is a note on the packaging slip that says it wasn't included so I'll see what I can figure out about that one. Uh, I also additionally ordered a anemone herbert crab, large, uh, also sorry medium so he's going to be between two to three inches. Uh, I always wanted a large hermit crab in my tank thing it adds a bit of character and for some reason when people come and look at my tank they always seem to comment on the shrimp or the hermit crabs <laughs> rather than the fish so um, yeah, not quite sure what that's about, but I thought he would make a good addition to the tank. And then, for the sake of trying it, because I've never had one, um, a feather duster, uh, a pink and white feather duster. I've never had one before, wanted to try it, so I thought this would be a good opportunity. So, that's my order. Uh, let's go over to the uh, display tank, where we've got the um, hermit crab and the feather duster acclimating, and then we'll see about an update on the other, um, on the Antius fish. Okay, so we're looking at the uh, anemone hermit crab and the feather duster. They are being drip acclimated using the acclimate. Uh, they will. Re what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to basically fill this guy up twice, and that will absolutely have them acclimated within that time frame. So I'm going to let this fill up, empty it out, fill up, empty it out, and then they'll go into the display tank. And this is how I acclimate all of my inverts and fish when going into the display tank. I will always drip acclimate them no matter what. Um, going to the corals, the goniopora, or you know, as it might be, may or may not be, um, I'm basically floating it. And that's how I'm going to acclimate it. As soon as I've got the temperature acclimated, then I'm going to drop it straight into the tank. And that's how I acclimate all of my corals. Now let's go upstairs and we'll have a look at the antheuses. Okay, so here we are at the quarantine tank and I am acclimating the Lyotel antheus fish. They're basically floating at the moment. Um, the reason why I float them this way is because I'm not too worried about water from their bags getting into the quarantine tank because after all it is a quarantine tank. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my um, little scooper over there that you can see resting on top of the filter and I'm going to just pour in some water into each of those bags every 15 minutes or so and then I will additionally take out a scoop of water from their bags and put it into the quarantine tank. I'm not too worried at, at this point about water from their bags getting into the quarantine tank because after all it is a quarantine tank. It's not going to affect the water in the display tank at all. However, when I do transfer these fish over to the display tank, I will absolutely be drip acclimating them. Even though the water is going to be pretty similar, I don't want to take any risk of anything from the quarantine tank getting into the display tank. So for right now, for when I introduce fish to a quarantine tank, I will float them and then I will slowly acclimate them by pouring water from the quarantine tank into their holding bags. Unfortunately, only four of the Antheus has made it. The fifth one, unfortunately, died shortly after I unboxed it. Um, when I 
pulled his bag out, I could see he was at the bottom of his bag, lying on his side, gasping for breath. So I, did, I immediately opened up his bag and did, started a very slow drip acclimation from the water from my display tank. And I closed up the box that he was in so that it remained dark. Um, I checked it about 20 minutes after that and unfortunately he was dead. So I've emailed Blue Zoo Aquatics and I sent them some pictures and we'll see what their response is. With regards to the Montipora, um, I did see a note at the bottom of the invoice that says, um, sorry, most of the Montipora have started to RTN, that is um, rapid tissue necrosis over the weekend. We do not want to ship you coral which would cause you problems. No charge for missing item. And I did double check the invoice that I received on my account for them and I did see that I was not charged for that coral. So um, it was nice that they you know, let me know about that. Um, you know, bittersweet really. I really wanted the Montipora. That's one, that's one car that I've wanted for a little while just to try in my tank. Uh, but next time. And also, you know, obviously I'm, I'm glad that the fish are here. I'm just really disappointed that one of them didn't make it. I really wanted five Antheuses. Um, so I'm going to have a call around to the three fish stores that are in my area and I'm going to see if any of them have any Lyotel Antheuses in stock because I'm not sure how it would work adding a single Lyotel Antheus to an already established group of four. So I'm going to have to do a bit of research on that and see what I can find. So right now we're going to let these guys acclimate and I will come back to you guys in a few. Okay so the feather duster and the hermit crab, um, their acclimation period had completed however the issue that I had was that the water outside of the tank was uh, too cold or the air outside of the tank sorry, was too cold therefore the water in the acclimate was cooling down faster than it could um, retain the heat. So I've put the acclimate actually inside and submerged it into the refugium. That way the water is going to insulate and stay warm and it will match that of the ta tank temperature. So that's going to sit there for another, um, I guess, rotation you could say. So I'm going to fill it back up again and then I'll be ready to put them into the uh, display tank. The uh, Goniopora coral is ready to go. That's been acclimating in there for about half hour, 45 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out and we're going to add that to the display tank now. Okay, so this is where the uh, Goniopora coral is going to go for now. Um, I've purposely put it at the back here because uh, it's not, it doesn't get too much light here. So it's not going to be a, an intense blast of light as if it would be in other places on the tank. Also, if I move this camera back, I want to be able to see some corals on the side of the tank too, so I thought this would be a good spot for it. Now obviously, I'll be monitoring the progress of the coral over the next few days, and if it appears to be happy in this place, then what I'll do is I'll actually epoxy it down. However, if it doesn't appear happy, then we'll move it around and we'll find it a place where it is ha going to be happy. So we'll check back on this coral in a few days for you guys and we'll see how he's doing. And in the meantime, we'll go back upstairs and check on the live tail Antheus as well. I have some news on that fifth Antheus. Okay, so here we are back at the quarantine tank. The Antheuses have been sitting here acclimating for about two hours now. I've been pouring in water, taking it out and rotating the water within their bags. Uh, so I did some research on adding uh, an additional Antheus to the group and it's absolutely not recommended to add any Antheuses to an already established group unless you're adding a larger number than the already established group so to add one Antheus within this group of four um, would basically be a, a death sentence for that other Antheus coming in so I rang around a couple stores and I was able to find one single Lyotail Antheus female from a shop called Modern Aquatics and I have a friend who has just earned himself hero status because he needed to come up here anyway um, he's agreed to go down to the store and get the fish for me because at the moment I don't have a way of getting down to that store um, in time before they close so he's agreed to go down pick the fish up and bring it up for me so 
Um, that is absolutely amazing because it was the only store within the entire city that I could find that had um, this Lyotel Antheus in stock and the fact that it was the last one that they had is even more amazing so really happy really glad I'm gonna be able to have those five Antheuses within the tank so these guys are gonna sit here for right now I'm gonna keep rotating the water within their bags until the other Antheus is, is, Antheus is here and then I can add them all to the quarantine tank in one go together. So we will check back in a few. And fingers crossed he gets here soon. All right, bye. Okay, so everybody is in their perspective homes right now. So here is the feather duster right here. He's only been in for about five minutes. So I'm just going to leave him there for now. And then if we come around, we can see the uh, anemone hermit crab or the hermit crab and enemy, whatever you want to call him just here chilling out down underneath the rocks here and again he's only been in here for about five ten minutes as well and then we come around here we can see the goniopora and he's looking quite nice right now he seems to be reasonably happy in that spot but again it hasn't been that long so we're going to keep an eye on these guys and we'll check back on them over the next couple days and see how they do and for right now, we'll just head back upstairs and have one more look at the Antheuses. Alright guys, so here we are at the quarantine tank. All four of the uh, Antheuses from Blue Zoo Aquatics are in here. And I have also added the additional fifth member of the group that came from Modern Aquatics. I did not release them from their bags until that fifth member was fully acclimated. And then I released them all in one go. That way there was never going to be a chance for them to create a pecking order or anything like that at all. The light in the quarantine tank is on for right now. I'm actually going to power that off for the next 24 hours. It just limits the stress on the fish and it will help them acclimate to their environment that little bit more. I'm also not going to feed them for 24 hours either. Um, there's always a temptation to feed new fish as soon as they look as if they're settled in their new environment. but. In actual fact, there's a lot of stress still going on there that we're not seeing. So they're really, in all likelihood, not going to eat. So it's it's a waste of food and, uh, you know, it just dirties up the water. So I'm going to hold off on feeding these guys for the next 24 hours until uh, I know that they're fully ready. But, I mean, they look fantastic. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, so that's it for now, guys. That That's the new fish acclimated and the new uh, inverts and the new corals. That's my process. I will be back again for the next set of videos where we're going to look at maintaining your quarantine tank and how I'm going to go about treating these fish. So until then, I'll see you guys again soon.